Hey, Cherish. Thanks for coming today. Uh, my name is Katie O'Neill. Welcome to Trans West. Uh, today we're going to take a tour of our 2020 Canyon Star. Uh, this is the smallest of nine models. It's a 35. Uh, 3513 is the model or floor plan number. And uh, this is a really cool RV. Uh, I'd like to start, there's a lot of features, so we'll start in the back and work our way forward. Uh, today we're looking at stock number 5N190596. And please note that although this coach has an original list price of 207 and uh, 225, uh, where it's on sale so if you're interested in good pricing uh, especially 2020 year-end my name is Katie O'Neill again it's 303-562-8659 feel free to shoot me a text during this video I'd be happy to get you that sale pricing that we have available okay so here we are in the bedroom uh, first and foremost one of the things that really separates this model from the Bay Star is all the amenities in here so here you're gonna have a stackable Splendid washer dryer uh, you'll notice also below, I'm going to just dart, dart here in front of you, Cherish, show you a nice little place to keep, for instance, laundry soap, dryer sheets, things along those likes. Um, and then a ton of storage. So this 35-foot coach offers a lot of nice amenities. First of all, for bedding, we have storage compartments. Oh, sorry. Above. I think they're deep, too. They're really deep. You can put pillows in them, blankets, whatever you have. Uh, need for it in terms of guests and then more importantly holy moly let me just start over this way and let you take a peek in there and I'm going to slide shut the other direction look at all of this closet space what a luxury So tons of room, and then down here below, you'll notice that we have a ton of additional drawers. So deep drawers, long drawers, depending, you know, bathing suit tops, whatever it is that you might need. Drawers next to your bed stand. Uh, this unit does have the inverter that goes to the bed stand, so you do have outlets back here to charge everything. You'll also notice this really beautiful accent light. Windows on both sides with vents. Lots of overhead storage as well. Uh, there is again an outlet here in this compartment, so you do have a place to plug in, for instance, a laptop if you wanted to keep something hidden during the day. CPAP machine. Yes, yeah, CPAP machine would be great. Um, this is a coach you could really live in full time. Uh, this is a sleep number bed. I've got the remote here on the bed so you can take a look at it. Um, but just like a lovely amount of space. And then because we have so much wardrobe space in the closet behind us, you can choose to either have more additional wardrobe space or shelving. So super, super awesome. Um, really nice feature of this coach. Uh, of course, we've got our Blu-ray player down here, so easily accessible. Five additional very large cavernous drawers, a television, and then an exit, emergency exit over here above all of your hard, um, beautiful Corian countertops. And I'm gonna go through to the front now and just show you the chairs will back up. I'm gonna go ahead and close this door just to show you that you do have your own privacy. And if you have guests, you can sleep in, they can get up early and have access to your mid bath. So this is a really smart design unit. Um, beautiful sconce above the vanity, uh, large medicine cabinet, lots of cabinet space, Dometic toilet, and then a really large shower with a removable shower head. And also there is a place to hang your robe which is really nice when you get out. And we'll pan over to the right and show you that. And then right above that handle is your fantastic fan. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you do have two Hanguin heat pumps in this unit, so you will have air conditioning and heat. Uh, this is on the Ford V10 chassis. It's got a 5,000 pound towing capacity, 260 horsepower. Really, really nice RV. And big refrigerator with the ice maker. This unit does actually have the extra inverter and additional two batteries. It's also prepped for solar. Um, what that means is with solar power, this would be great for boondocking. We've got um, propane powered gas um, cooked top here, uh, three burner. You also have a microwave and convection oven and a dishwasher, which is super luxurious. 
And then once again, just lots and lots of extra storage capacity. Look at the size of that drawer, holy mackerel. Uh, and then in here, more remotes than you could even imagine. We do have that main master remote. Now this is the, this is the remote, oops, that's the holder that you would mount. This is the remote for the Dometic awning outside. Uh, so all of your remotes, of course, can be put into one with that master remote. And then just a few extra filters. You do have a house filter and a water filter in your refrigerator. And the whole house filter is outside, so you can have double filtration of water. And then look at how much space you have here, along with an, even a nice place to put a trash can. And that's a real luxury in an RV to have a stationary place to put your trash can. Uh, you have also a lot of storage overhead. And there's all your books. I'll move this out of the way just so you can see how big that is. I mean, you can fit a ton of cereal boxes in there, just a lot of room. Uh, above your residential style faucet with both spray and pour. And then you've got a dual uh, sink. It's stainless steel with nice covers, really, really useful. Great place to do dishes if you've got a lot of people. Now, when I say a lot of people, we already have the king size bed in the back. Um, we have a really nice dining area up here where we could sit four very comfortably, along with a great place if you have guests over and you want to put out some chips and guacamole, you've got some extra places to put you know, your, your uh, appetizers. And then you'll notice that we have these two other little ottomans here. What's interesting about these ottomans is these are designed not only for storage, but they're also design, designed to be a little tabletop. So while you're watching television, you can sit down, you can have everybody here all hanging out, having a great time. I've got one of the chairs turned around here just so you can kind of see how easy this is to work. Um, you'll notice that we do have our rear view camera on as well as our navigation. And then I'm going to turn this and we'll pan past that nice steering wheel with all of the uh, controls on the steering wheel, which makes for a very safe drive. Uh, also, though, you'll notice that we have our hydraulic leveling jacks. And today is interesting. I have all of the visors down. So we'll take a look above those visors at some of the storage and also the television that we have here up front. But why do I have the visors down? Well, I have the visors down in case you have children that like to sleep in. So I'd like to show you how nice and dark this can be for your kids. So not only do you have a fold out bed, you also have an overhead bunk. So you have a ton of storage in this coach. This could very easily sleep an adult. So if your parents wanna come with you on a road trip and mom needs a place to slip, sleep along with the grandkids, you've got the extra room. Of course, let's put dad outside. No, just kidding, dad, we love you. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back up. I'm gonna show you how hard this is. Oh my goodness, look how hard this is. No, really, it's super easy. Um, and once again, really nice. You can swivel both of these chairs. If you look over here to the right, you'll notice that we also have a desk. So if you do have any online learners that wanna do Zoom calls and, and be online traveling cross country, we do have uh, the Wi-Fi extender in this coach. We have the Razor antenna, so if you don't want to pay for your uh, cable, you don't have to, but we also do have an in-motion satellite unit on top of this unit. Uh, we have, a, as well, uh, we are pre-wired for uh, solar. I know I mentioned that earlier, but that makes for a really uh, great availability if you want to go boondocking. So let's say you want to go to the beach and you want to stay maybe in a not, uh, not regular resort with plugins. You can stay out there for weeks. You've got a 7,000 watt or kilowatt generator by Onan outside, and you can literally get off the grid, hang out with the fam, and really get away this winter if you'd like to. I know a lot of us would like that. Uh, on that note, just a little bit more here. We've got dry storage. Um, great place for maybe a liquor cabinet if you like, or glassware. Um, above us here, next to this cabinet, you'll notice we also have uh, a really cool feature by Neymar. Everything is kind of put into one place. So you've got your awning controls, you've got your slide controls, you can look at your tank capacity, you can run all of your HVAC systems, uh, all of your um, 
all of your solar controls would go up here as well. It's right here, the solar prep little sticker. And then all of your inverters, everything is run right here. And then of course there's your battery disconnect so you can easily turn off and store. So today what I'd like to do is we're gonna actually put the ottomans up and we're gonna pull the slides in because I think a lot of people are really curious about what kind of storage capacity you have but also what kind of capacity you have to be able to walk through a coach while you're in motion and driving. So I'm gonna put these ottomans up, and as you'll note, these flex steel ottomans are really nicely made. Um, so Newmar spends a lot of time making sure that our fit and finish doesn't go unnoticed. We've got these beautiful decorations on the inside, but everything's also very functional. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these in, and you'll notice we have a rather large slide here on the left hand side. This is a three slide unit. I'm going to go ahead and also put the uh, slide in for the bedroom as well so we can see what this coach looks like when it's all closed up. Um, as you know it's really quiet um, and really fast so closing up and getting on the road could probably take you 25-30 minutes max so if you are like me where oh Cherish would you mind just tilting this chair? Thank you. There we go. Got to get drive ready. There we go. Yeah, so if you've got Zoom classes you got to get on, I know that we had to get on the road and kind of be in motion this summer um, by 8 o'clock just to be in time for everything. Super simple. Oh, you know what? I won't be able to put that on because I've got the key in the ignition. That'd be great, and I'll go ahead and work on this back unit for us. So as you'll note, I just walked right past the refrigerator, right past the bathroom, really easily, yeah, when the slide was closed. So this is a really impressive feature of this coach. Um, you can get to the main restroom. You can also, because of the position of the refrigerator, have access to the fridge while you're going down the road. And the cool thing is, is you can turn your generator on right from the driver's seat, so that if the kids wanted to microwave a burrito, make lunch, stay on the road, do that eight-hour drive until you get to your next destination while doing all their classes and eating lunch, you can do it. Um, so, as you can see, a lot of room here. Um, lots of room for your kitchen space. Um, really comfortable considering uh, how much we've slid in. And let's go ahead and do that in again. There we go. And I just love that you have so much sleeping capacity in here. Um, so you've got one overhead, at least two or three here at the couch, and then a king size bed in the back. Really great space for a family of five if you wanted to go on a nice long road trip and stay on the road. Make a tour of the United States while you're doing your studies. A lot of this distance learning is happening right now. Uh, you can really get out and get away and be in a really comfortable RV. And you'll notice here, you still have access to be able to sit down and have a nice snack, like I said earlier. All right, so let's go ahead and head outside. Oh, before we do though, let me point out one thing that's down here below these cabinets. Uh, so not only do you have a lot more space here, you also have this little drawer right here. But below that, you'll notice we have our HVAC system. So yeah, this has central vac, which is a really nice feature of the RV. And then today we're going to go outside and we're going to take a look at this coach. And as we go through it, we'll close the doors and show you uh, what she looks like from the outside. All right, so we'll start up here at the front. So one of the things that you gain when you leave the Bay Star and go up into the Canyon Star is you're still on that really great V10 engine that Ford's made for the last 20 years. Uh, tried and true, it's an industry standard, but you have a lot more storage capacity on the Canyon Star. And if you wanna go into any of these higher end uh, RV parks, you have to have a 35 foot coach in a, in a bus style. Well, this meets that criteria. If you wanna go into state parks, it's under 35 feet. So you can get a state park reservation at almost anywhere you'd like to go. Uh, here's that dining room window. Notice that there are vents there. And then here, just because I think it's an important feature, really nice screen door that you can close to keep the bugs out. And then this, this cabin right here is where you find we have not only additional outlets, uh, there are lights in all of these cabinets, but also that's where you have your vacuum cleaner access point from the outside. 
So you have interior and exterior vacuuming capacity. Uh, here's a great little unit if you want to sit outside, watch a movie during the day um, or in the evening with your friends, sit around the barbecue. Out here you've also got a radio, so you've got your receiver, speakers. Um, once again, more storage, really easily accessible. In this compartment we have an overhead pass-through. This is a great place above your 7,000 uh, kilowatt generator. You can put fishing poles up here. Anything that's long that you might want to store, even a broom, mop, things like that, especially if you're going to be on the road for a while. Uh, in this cabin here, we have our water tank. Uh, so just keep in mind that this does have a really large amount of water. It's a 75-gallon tank. You can easily drain it here to get water ready for winterization outside. And there is an exterior shower. I'll show that to you in the middle in a minute. And then just another little place back here. This would be a great place to keep an outdoor barbecue, for instance. Um, so please note, we do have this ladder on the back. Above the ladder on the left, you'll see our rear view camera. I love this mirroring on the rear of the coach. Uh, this is the exterior is going to be the masterpiece finished Duval exterior. It's a really cool kind of mossy green and black uh, overtone. Very, very contemporary. Uh, down below here, you'll find that we have a 5,000 pound capacity hitch. And below that, Newmar's rock guard. I wanna make sure everyone knows that you are driving one of the best coaches available in the marketplace and that you got it here at Trans West. Uh, here you've got your rear uh, stowage area for your 50 amp. And then once again, just a lot more storage. This is a place to keep your, uh, your uh, sewage pipe so you can keep that in here stowed away from everything else. And this is where your fuel is filled. So uh, you've got an 80 gallon fuel capacity on this. You could really make a lot of miles on this if you were taking a road trip cross country. Uh, here we've got more storage again. Like I said, this is a really luxurious amount of space. If you had a family of five or six and you wanted to take a road trip, you'd have no problem getting everybody's gear in here, paddle boards, all the like. Um, it does have a 60 gallon gray tank and a 40 gallon black tank. Uh, this is your main uh, control center here. You'll notice we do have the filter out but really large house water filter and then you have your outdoor shower which would just attach right here we do have it off this coach has been winterized we would be happy to get all of your fluids on board here at TransWest when you come in we'll get this ready however you like it if you want to have water on board so you can start your road trip we're happy to do it that way we'll have it winterized for you if you'd like to do it that way um, we've got a lot of people who go camping in the warmer weather and a lot of people who like to go camping up in Estes Park during the winter. So however you like it, we'll make it happen for you. That's the other side of your water tank. And then once again, just a lot of extra storage. Uh, easy access to your house batteries. And then in the next, next cabin, we'll find our 25 gallon propane tank. So like I said, this coach between the propane and the availability of solar, you could really get off the grid for months. You wouldn't need a lot. You could seriously just take a long camping trip down to the beach, get out those surfboards, go down to Baja, Mexico, however you want to do it. This can make all of your dreams come true. Uh, and like I said, this is a 2020 model. It's one of the last that we have. It's a Canyon Star. It's the 50, I'm sorry, the 3513. It's the smallest of nine Canyon Stars. And we have amazing pricing available on this unit. So if you're interested in this unit, it's 5N190596. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest in Frederick, Colorado. My number is 303-562-8659. I would love to hear from you. I would love to give you an opportunity to have a magnificent coach like this in your family. Make all your dreams come true. Get out there, get on the road understand why we love RVs so much. They make everything possible. So please give me a call. Let me know if we can help. And thanks for coming today.